Hello, Tracy back, Mattingly House. Another Timu haul. <laughs> Gotta stop doing this at some point. I've got another Timu haul. So let's dig right in. I filled up my desk, emptied out one of the bags. I think one of the bags is there. And I've still got some more stuff there. I think it's there. Yeah. It's there. There's a little bit there. Might separate into two hauls. <laughs> I'm not sure whether the really long hauls are good. Let me know. I mean, if you prefer the shorter hauls or the longer hauls, I'd love to know. So let's dig into this lot anyway. It's a, this bit here is a complete mishmash. This is first item. It is fake plant. Because I bought I think it was on the last haul, uh, a couple of uh, macrame hanging um, hanging pots. Well, it didn't come with the pots, it was just the actual macrame. So I thought I want to get some pots. And then, because I want to put them in the porch, the porch gets way too hot. So I thought I'd put some fakies in there. Now, this one has come. I mean, I like the look of the leaves. It might take a bit of floofing to get it to look nice. Look at it. But I suppose it has travelled a long way. What do you expect? <laughs> but it might take some floofing. <laughs> and a pot, of course. <laughs> it's... Hmm. I might be able to make that look good. I'll give it a go. And if I do make it look good, <laughs> I'll put a picture here. If I don't make it look good, there'll be no picture. <laughs> but it doesn't look too bad. It feels strong. I mean, it's a fake plant. <laughs> but at a distance, it might work. Okay. First one. Nice. Let's open a little box. I don't know what's in this little box. Oh, glasses. Okay. Oh, the reading glasses. Because I can see it's... Uh, uh, four times I got one pair and I think it was about two or three hauls ago and it was either a two and a half or a three but because I've got really bad eyes it worked for me but it could do better especially when I'm crafting so I thought that's definitely better these are I think it's 4.0. Does that mean four times? I don't quite understand when they do the glasses. But it's plus four, it says. Which, look, oh look, nice big nose. <laughs> or a big eyeball. Wow. Glasses on glasses. <laughs> okay. You can't complain for the money. I mean, that is ideal for the money. That's good. Good, good. I'm liking them. They should help with my crafting. Of course, I won't be worried about getting paint on them or, or anything because it's like these. They cost a lot. These are like a couple hundred quid. I don't really want to get paint all over these all the time. Although there is, but... You know. Let's open up another box. Oh, okay. Still on the fake plants. And these come in a pot and there's two in the box, as you can see. Two in the box. Let's find that box down there. So they're those succulent looking plants, which I did actually on a haul or two ago. I was just about to use my teeth then. Stop it. 
I bought some succulent -y ones. I think they're called Lover's Tears. Eh, open. Diorch. Open. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, they were called Lover's Tears. And they look pretty good. And I put them in one of those little um, vases that have got legs and a little head. <laughs> and then there's this one that's very similar. It's not Lover's Tears. Because these are flatter. Doesn't need as much floofing. It's quite a small pot. I would say that was about three inch. But what I want to do is put them in macrame hangers, hang them up, and then I'll put a picture here so you can see them. But I got two of those, and I, I think they're going to do really well, actually. They're good. I like the fact that I haven't got to faff around finding a pot for them. It's already done. Like it. Nice. Onwards. What should we do next? Let's do the other box. Another little box. Let's get this one open. One of the orders came and it was broken. So this time they've shipped it in something a little bit more decent. <laughs> I'm going to be putting my bamboo in it. It's a little pot. Um, I like it. <laughs> I did not know that was just the same one. Otherwise I wouldn't have shown it because I've already got one. I've already done a haul of one. I didn't know. down here but I'm glad that's turned up good good excellent right one word another bit of shopping Woo. now this is fascinating this is supposedly to make ice so if you look in there, there's all the little sections. So you fill that up with water. I suppose all the excess water splashes out and then only the bit around the edge, the honeycomb. I'm gonna try that and we'll put the video in of me testing that out so you can see what that's like. High hopes for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that we'll try mm. okay here we are in the kitchen and we're testing out the ice maker just took it out of the freezer <laughs> it's got a few bulges maybe I've overfilled it with water um, I'm thinking we might have to run this under hot water a little bit let's get that run under hot water Took out the inner piece, put that in the sink, and that's what we've got. We've got looks like lots of little ice cubes all around the edge. So now I'm just going to gently squeeze and turn. Oh, <laughs> trust me. Come on there. Come out. <laughs> this one there. 
Salem. What's that? Is that it? Oh no, that there's two there. There's no one there. Oh, sneakies. I'm not gonna feel one. Okay, so that's the end of that. Put that down. And we've got lots of lovely little cubes of ice. Works. <laughs> put that together so you would then give this a quick rinse squash out the excess water again and put it back in the freezer the only thing is you have to put it upright at first because if it spills it'll make a mess in your freezer but works what can i say Good. Mm. let's try that one out okay onwards now i've got two of these don't think it's probably worth me unwrapping but <laughs> I keep an awful lot of stuff in the fridge that, well, because I'm a single lady, I do cook stuff and then I cook it for maybe so it goes over two or three days. So certain stuff I like to just prep and get in the fridge, you know, different soups or meat, meat beef things or uh, veggies that I've prepped I mean I peel my spuds put them in salty water and that way I only have to peel spuds every three days <laughs> I'm not peeling spuds every day because I put two two or three days with in the fridge and then I just fish out the amount I want I swap the water every day so it keeps it nice and fresh That's what that's good for. That's why I wanted it such a big one because then I could put soups and all sorts in there. And then I got the short one for vegetables. And I got two each of both of those. Yeah, I got two each of both of those. Two each of the 1500s. And what is this? I think this is a thousand or a 750. What I thought, I like the clip lids for a start. The locking lids. I've had so many where I'm fighting to lock them or unlock them or have discoloured. There's a lot of things don't seem to like red cabbage. <laughs> and it goes really burgundy purple. <laughs> yeah, it's a thousand mil this one. Mm. It's a thousand mil. It's so hard to see on the site when you're looking. You, you can't judge a thousand mil. I can't anyway. But that's the thousand mil pot and the 1500 mil pot and yeah i like them i'll try them out i mean they look like they're going to be good but we'll see eh? i've got two each of those boring stuff but you know what it's like. You need those little boring stuffs. <laughs> or more boring stuff. <laughs> I, in my laundry, I've got little scented beads that you put in the washing machine, supposedly to give it a boost of smell. Now this is broken. Bugger. Broken. down the side but it's a rice pot that is supposed to seal and even though it's you keep rice in it so you've got um you can measure it out and everything but i thought it'd be handy for my scented beads because whoosh, chuck in the laundry <laughs> but this one it's got to go back because it's broken that's the only thing with a lot of the team stuff because it's just rammed into a plastic bag, you you do get a lot of broken things. It's a shame. All they need to do is put things in a box and half of it would get protected. Oh well, I mean, they're prepared to take it all, refund it and everything. Now this is a supermarket pen 
basic super marker pen. I move house a lot. <laughs> so I'm always on the hunt for the next pen to write all the room descriptions on the boxes. And that's what that's for. It's just a permanent big old chunky pen. It's good. This is something different from me. Yeah, it's unusual for me to get stuff like this. I don't know where to open it. Oh, oh, oh I love it. I found it. No, I haven't. No, they just take up the edge. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, hey, I got in there. Ugh. Hey, we're in there. Okay, I've got um, a couple of blueberry plants in pots. I have to give them in pots because they don't like the soil here. But of course, you need a way of protecting them from the birds. Oh, this is big. <laughs> so this is huge. This goes over your blueberry or whatever plant <laughs> that you want to protect. Um, mostly the berries and fruit bushes and things like that. So the birds can't eat them. <laughs> it's big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Which is, that is not what I'm used to saying about Timu. <laughs> Normally it's always, it's a lot smaller. But. That's nice, and there's two in the packet. And that's what it is. It is called. What is it called? Oh, I can't even. I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> it's gonna be back to the front now, isn't it? Bijo kitten. Bijo kitten. <laughs> it's for gardeners, anyway, and it's. Um, to protect fruit bushes but I and that's normal I put all the links down below anyway so if you're interested to just follow the links but that is a good size that will definitely fit my blueberry bushes anyway I'm hoping it, it shouldn't affect the plants because even though see you can see my hands through it so sunlight should still get through it and rain and everything and you only need to put them on once you know when you've got actual blueberries there once you harvest take it off or once you've got enough and then leave the rest for the birdies i got two of those in the packet so i didn't have to buy two separately they both came in the same packet but that's different for me let's put them there definitely different for me Not the packet. It's very quiet here today. Very quiet. What have we got? Just let me hair done as well. Look, look, no roots. Let me hair. There's probably still <laughs> splats of hair dye all around the edges <laughs> where I haven't got it all off yet. It'll wear in a little bit more. Oh, this is my coffee sign. Yay. Let me turn around so you can read it the right way around. <laughs> it's on plastic. So Perspex. Let's plug her in. Put this near my kettle. Can't know what colour I got. Because I've seen a few of them with the fancy drop writing and stuff like that. I don't really like the fancy drop writing. Oh, Ooh, it's nice and bright. I like it. What do you think? It's big, isn't it? That is way bigger than my hand. Three letters are about the size of one hand, so it's like two hands. 
good. So there's a little, so you've got an on and off clicker actually fixed into the wire and it's USB connection. I like that, I like that a lot. I'm gonna put that in place and I'll show you. In that is USB, so I'll have to find a little <laughs> USB UK socket. And I'll find one, find one somewhere. Let's get another pile. Now, <laughs> it wouldn't be one of my hauls without a headband. Although, to be honest, I think I've got all the ones I like now. <laughs> so there can't be many more. <laughs> Blue geometric with like a little knot on the top. Straightforward <laughs> blue one. Let's take my grey one off. That was, I think, last week's haul. <laughs> Mirror, so I can't see. Looks like right, I suppose. This frizzy hair has got to calm down. Woo! Like it, but I would like it. It's a headband. <laughs> last one. I can't promise it'll be the last one because I am a horrible collector. But there isn't many more. That I like the look of and this one I've had this one in a white and a black with a tiny little bow on top but because I liked them so much I got the blue one as well <laughs> uh, I like the little balls the little balls are cute not that I'm wearing anything blue but what do you think <laughs> nice clothes. <laughs> Don't like trying clothes on. <laughs> should order it then, should I? This one is like what do you call it? It's like a tank, isn't it? Without the without sleeves. Is, is, is it a tank top? No, that's the one with the smaller sleeves, isn't it? With the smaller straps. But this is looks like embroidery anglaise, is that it? Embroidery anglaise, so it's like holy. So I'm definitely gonna need something under this because there's no way I'm wearing this without. But I'll try that on board and put it there. <laughs> that one looks pretty good to me. Feels good not that shiny material so that one should work but we'll try that one on next rattle through them oh, oh this one's the shiny material dang it yeah Ooh. so it's a simple tank again but it is the shiny material. I will try it on though. But oh, I think is it because they remind me of the shiny material. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it reminds me of like um, cheap nighties <laughs> or nighties that my nan used to have. That sort of material. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Okay. I'm a cardigan freak. Love cardigans. I ruin them so quickly. And I bought this one. I kept seeing it on the site. Woo! It's nice. I like it. I wish they'd put bloody buttons on things though. They've stopped putting buttons on cardigans. Somebody please tell these people that women want buttons and pockets. But we'll try that one on. I like that one. So I have high hopes. As long as it fits my big old bod, it should work a treat. Nice. Nice. I've not had this much success with clothing before. <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay. 
we got a pair of skulls. So, well, that's what we call them here in the UK, is skull. I didn't know they were shiny. <laughs> I didn't know they were blingy. Although, to be honest, I will only wear them around the house anyway, probably. But they're just cork. Uh, is that sort of rubber base? Um, big old buckle. Um, you can adjust it a little bit. So you should be able to get my chunks in there. Try them on. Try them on. Get them a picture up here. Where, oh, I can't believe I've had so much luck with clothing this week. Dang. I've got two Christmas presents over there. Do I put them in the hall? They might see them. I think it'll be alright. I'll show you them, but I might put them as a separate haul because the rest are craft stuff. A lot of craft dies. I might do a really small craft haul and put them together. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go and do all my testing, all my try-ons <laughs> and start slotting all my stuff in, in the vid. Let's hope they all fit. Right, that's the end of the haul. It's been fun. We've got more to come. There's plenty of time, there's more to come. So I'll go and do all my testing and all my pictures. And meanwhile, I'll see you on the next haul. So until then, be good. <laughs>